Hi, I'm Megan Amram. I love science, but I also love looking good. But I also am super hungover right now. Woo! Science. Ooh, sexy. Don't get sexy just science. Like it. Ooh, sexy. Uh, okay, today's experiment is looking at acids versus bases. Acids and bases are helpful for knowing if you're drinking good wine or bad bleach. Oh my god. Okay, so acids and bases have to do with pH, and pH is the number of hydrogen ions that are in a solution. For numbers seven or lower, it's an acid. For eight or higher, it's a base. And you can measure pH with these pH strips. So for a drink like lemon juice, it's an acid, as we can see from this bright red pH color. So it's gonna taste really tart to a person. And <laughs> I just threw up. Um, so for bases, like this bleach over here, they have really high pH, and FYI, if you drink it, it will kill you. You know what else could kill you? Seven Long Island iced teas and uh, three shots of Malibu. Oh, look at that. That's a four. I really just need a little hair of the dog. Hi, Megan. Did you want to talk about my work? Megan? Ah! <laughs> Sexy science. Kara, thank you so much for being here today. I just thought we could play a fun little drinking game. I drink anytime I learn something. Does that sound good, Charlie? Kara. Hey. So uh, first question, mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? I actually work as a science communicator. Okay. And what that means is I am a translator to the public. So a scientist you know, does something really interesting and then I work to help the public understand what that means. Um, and do you do this on some sort of soapbox? Do you get into a very tall building? Where do you yell from? On websites, or I'm on television, or I might write for a publication, and I even do a podcast. Do you have any specific types of science that you like to communicate about? My first love is neuroscience. I love the brain. Theoretical astrophysics, so interesting, so complicated. Dinosaurs, I love paleontology. I even have a dinosaur fossil tattooed on my arm. That's an Archaeopteryx lithographica. Is there anything that you would raise awareness about? I think it's really important to talk about female role models in science. You know, we talk about STEM, and two of the places where there's there's just not as many women are in the engineering and math fields. Yeah. And I would love to see more strong female engineers and mathematicians in the media. I agree with you. Like. The more places that women can get into, the mm -hmm. better for everybody. Cause like they smell really good. I think like it's better for labs if there's just like a light flowery aroma everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's, it's a bit more than that. It's important to have people with varied backgrounds and varied perspectives. More people of color, more people from different kinds of neighborhoods, from different countries and different cultures. The more different people we have trying to solve problems, I think the better the outcome will be. You have a master's in neurobiology or the study of the brain. If I don't like my brain, can I get a brain implant, like a double D brain? You probably wouldn't want that, actually. If your brain were too big for your skull, then you would have a lot of excess pressure, and that can make you very, very sick. What is the cutest part of the brain? I bet it's the squiggles. What are the squiggles? You know, the cute little squiggly things that are on the brain. There's gyri and there's sulci, which are like mm. the big bumpy parts and then the valleys in between the bumpy parts. Is that what you mean? I feel like gyri is from Game of Thrones. Oh, like a gyrus, like a... Gyrus. gyrus, yes. He was the guy who is at, like, Karth. Are you a feminist, a scientist, or an autumn? You can only pick one. Uh, You're so pretty. Th thank you. And thank you. This has been Experimenting with Megan Amram. Please tune in next time. And until we meet again, remember, I went to Harvard. Cheers. Ew! Science. 
Ooh, to watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here. Oh, I want to subscribe. I can't reach, will you click it for me? Come on, please help. You're so cute, you're my best friend. Just do me a little favor. Ah, thank you.